So today I'm continuing work on my rock crawler chassis build and so today I'm working on motor mounts. What I've got is the old motor mounts here and I'm using them as a template for the new ones that I'm making. So I've got the, some 3 16 plate, I'm going to set the old motor mounts on and I'm going to cut, uh, cut out the squares on the 3 16 inch plate and then what I'm going to do is use the old holes as the guide for the new holes. And then so what I'll start off with is a nice flat piece of new plate that I'm going to end up welding um, my chassis tube to. I'm using the old motor mounts as a template and a scrap piece of 3 16 inch plate to cut them out of. For smaller cuts like this, I like to just use a cutoff wheel. It makes quick work of cutting through plate like this, and it's easier than getting out my plasma cutter. I use the old motor mounts as my template for the new ones. I just use a sharpie to mark the hole and then use a center punch to mark the center of the hole. I'm just using a clamp in the side of my table as a makeshift drill press. So what I'm working on now is cutting out the front skid plate. The oil pan is going to go right here. And basically this is all going to protect the oil plant pan. And there's going to be an AR skid plate underneath this square, as well as everything further back. So what I did is I, I've notched each of these sides, and then I put a 45 degree um, angle on each of these. Uh, so it comes together like that. Then I'm going to go sand these down, clean these tubes up, and then these are also going to tie into the motor mounts that I'm working on. These are kind of going to go up to the motor mount. So the motor mount's going to have uh, um, tubes coming from the frame like this, and then down to here to kind of tie it all together. So that's what I'm working on next. Going to go clean these up, get them tacked in place, and then start working on the motor mount tubes.
So I've got my skid plate. Um, this is going to be kind of the skid protector. There's going to be AR plate under this, just like this, uh, to protect this oil pan from rocks going up to it. The next thing I'm working on, I've cut a couple. These are going to attach to the motor mount. So what I've got, I've got my motor mount on the engine. And then I've got this bar going from the chassis over, and then I'm going to have another tube come down there and then tie into the skid plate. And that's kind of similar to how my other rock crawler is. So this will all kind of triangulate and tie together to help support itself. So the next, next thing I'm going to do is to weld these guys in place. So for now, I've just got these motor mounts and a skid kind of tied together because it's not 100% because things could change with the front suspension. have to imagine on this axle that the truss down there is going to be on top of it. So the top of the truss is going to be right around here and then I'm also going to have <coughs> link mounts on top of that. And look at how fast this, this gap right here starts to fill up. So other things that I have to consider. One is a drive line that's going to go right here. It's going to be two piece. The two piece drive line is going to end right here at this tube. So these two will tie together like that. So I got to have room for that to be able to articulate. And one thing that happened with this other one is when the sus suspension drops out, the drive line can get pulled over into the skid plate. So that's something else that I have to get ready to possibly make a change on as well. So this is just going to stay tacked together for right now. The other thing that I have to consider is the upper link mount. It'll probably, I have to, I'm going to do a whole video on the four link calculator and putting my numbers into this. Um, but what I'm thinking is I, I want to put the front links about like this. And so I've got to have room for that as well. Um, so I have to keep, I wanted to keep this space as open as I could just for those items so that I don't have any conflicts right there. Um, I can't guarantee I won't. Uh, the drive line's the biggest thing that I could see right now. And, and it'll probably be just fine. It'll probably clear, but you know, sometimes you have to shave a little bit off or clearance an area. So it's not 100% right now. So that's why my thought was behind taking these up like that. I just wanted to give myself that room right there uh, for the drive line and for the link mounts. Just to have more room, the better. Also, one more thing. If anybody's wondering why, I, why I'm using hard mounts, why I'm hard mounting the motor um, in this entire chassis, I made a video last summer uh, called I Cracked My TH400. And so what they had to do was with the rubber bushings and some movement I had in the drivetrain and taking a hard hit and it cracked my transmission in two. Since, since then I've hard mounted the entire drivetrain and everything's been good. So 
That's why this one I'm just going straight hard mount and not even messing around with any rubber bushing. I have also been working on filling in some of the filler tubes, some of the support tubes. So I've taken a little time to cut them all to size and then notch them all and start dropping those into place so I can get ready for welding. I like to use a triangular magnet to hold the tube in place so that I can tack it. And then I double check the top of it so that it stays level from tube to tube with just a basic level.